Right, in this short clip um, we're going to have a quick chat about referencing. Um, this is most relevant to M150 um, because certainly in your first few TMAs um, before you start doing the programming you're going to need to be citing sources, um, websites, uh, books and things like that. So um, I'm going to show you how to do that. I'm going to assume I've got a sort of, I'm going to pretend I've got a little task. So. We're going to assume that my task today is to um, research climate modelling. So, what I first do is I come into Google and I decide that I'm looking for predicting climate change. So, normally you'll get a Wikipedia site quite near the top, pretty much whatever you're going to search for. I'd advocate not using this um, in academic work. Um, Wikipedia is written by anybody and can be updated by anybody. Um, one good thing to use Wikipedia for is to get yourself a basic understanding about the subject and then if you use the external links on Wikipedia um, then their excellence give you further, further sort of information. So from my little Google search I've just done I've identified two good, good looking sites here so we've got these two predicting climate change sites so I'll just have a look at this first one. So that's written by the Natural Environment Research Council um, so again it's a it's a reasonable source to use you can assume they know what they're talking about slightly um, if I were to um, reference that website then this is basically the way I do it and all these references are done exactly the same you always start off with the author um, of the web page in this case and the date it was last updated now if you've got a web page normally you can tell this because if you scroll all the way to the bottom it will tell you who the copyright is and when the last updated date is so you can use that to fill in your author and your date. Uh, the next piece of information you need is the title of the web page and the URL um, so the person that's reading your article needs to be able to find it so we've got um, in this case if I scroll back up to the top Again, the title is Predicting Climate Change, and I've copied the URL directly. Um, do be careful if you are using websites, use something called a persistent URL. Some sites, like, for example, um, journal articles and things like that, um, because they change daily, things like the Telegraph or the Guardian, or, you know, papers and things like that, they normally have a link to a persistent site. Um, you may not need to worry about this too much for this course but it is something to be aware of so if it's something that changes daily then obviously if I try and access it next week it won't work which brings me to my next point Ooh. which is you've got to also write the date that you accessed the web page um, again this is important because if I know you've accessed it on the 24th of October and I go back and check it to see where you've got your information from and it's been updated um, since then um, in between me checking it and you checking it then um, I know that you know it could possibly have changed between times if I know it's the same then I, I know where you've got your information from and I can I can double check what you're looking at so that's that first site that we had. If we go back and then use my second site just to illustrate exactly the same point. Now this is a slightly different sort of a site. Um, it's a um, paper on um, climate change so it tells you all sorts of things about the maths behind it, facts about the climate, things like that. Again I think this is a reasonable site um, and in this case when we're going to do the citation for it, you find the author here, so that's John B. Drake. It doesn't have a last updated date on it, um, neither does it have a date of publication of it, which you can tell by just checking at the bottom. If in doubt, I'd always be tempted to put to t um, the current year. Again, you follow it up with the title of the page and the URL, again the persistent URL and the date you've accessed it on. Again that's just for me to check to see um, where you're getting your information from. The other thing that you might like to reference, especially if you did have my little task to investigate climate change, is you might want to reference some of the course materials and this would be one way of doing it. Again it's making sure that your reader is able to find where you've got your information from. Um, so in this case I'd use um, Unit 3 which talks a lot about how um, you represent the analogue digitally which obviously for climate change would be quite a key key point um, so it's a similar principle to websites 
So you have the author, um, you have the title of the work. So in this case, it gets a bit complicated because you have to reference the course as well. Um, with books, you need to put where it's published and the publisher straight after. So it's all relatively straightforward. Um, if you're not sure, on the M150 website, should look a bit like this. If you find the assignment section, at the top of the assignment section is citing references help sheet. And this help sheet will give you every possible form of um, Harvard citation, which is what the Open University use for this course. Um, it will tell you how to use those and how to reference um, within. So you'd always put in your work that you're um, you're writing yourself. You'd always use the reference by the name of the author and the date, just so you can make sure if you've got multiple entries, I know which one it is. Um, you should always list your references in alphabetical order at the end of the work. Um, so there will no doubt be more on that coming up later, but that's just a little bit so that um, you've got a good understanding of how to start with your referencing. Because this is a level one course, then obviously you get a little bit of leeway. You can get it wrong a couple of times um, and you'll be corrected. So it's nothing really to worry about. It's an important thing to get right though, because as you develop on you know later courses, it becomes much more important to get all of your citations and referencing correct. So I hope that's useful for you. It should be at least in TMA1 question two. Um, thank you very much for watching and uh, yeah, I hope you can use that soon.